All right, everybody, welcome to Friday. How are things going with you? I hope you're doing very, very well. Let's see what's happening here. What is going on for today? I feel like everybody needs to take a big deep breath. This week has been the craziest. I don't know if you've been having trouble sleeping or anything like that. That's certainly been going on here. And, uh, you know, the hot, hot, hot continues. We're all the way up here in Maine and it's pretty hot here. So I can't imagine. Hope y'all are doing well. All right. Let's see where we go. Let's see where we go. We're about to get a big old thunder boomer. So hopefully it'll clear out. Starseed. Yup. That was on my mind earlier today. Memento more. There may not be a someday. My goodness. Your 111 year old self. This, this feels uh, like um, I've been getting the, the um, hermit card quite a bit. So some of you are either stepping into becoming uh, a wise healer, a wise teacher. And like, there's no tomorrow. Like it's time. All right. It, it can't wait anymore. That has been a very loud message this week uh, that if, you know, if you have been working um, or been thinking about making some changes or whatever, but for whatever reason, you've been kind of, I don't know, stalling, like it's hard to make the turn. I feel like I'm hearing that hard. It's hard to make the turn from one thing to another, the shift from one thing to another. Uh, it can be between one kind of life and another kind of life. This is like the masculine feminine um, integrated here. So some of you could have a twin flame as part of the story. Uh, definitely star seed energy. I did a I did a video about what kind of star seed am I? So there it is. Um, I mean, it does feel like there is a bit of a uh, an urgency, an urgency to step into your gifts. We've been talking about this for a while, I think. King of Pentacles, the Sun, Queen of Cups, and Nine of Cups. Beautiful energy. Oh, look at that. And Three of Pentacles. This is all about collaboration. All right. So some of you could be dealing with a Leo or this is Leo time. Okay. This is Leo time where Queen of Cups and the King of Pentacles, it's, it's really nice energy. And the way they're, the way I put the cards down, like they're staring at each other, they see each other, they know each other. This, uh, the card that's underneath, well, the five cards here that are underneath, uh, definitely indicate a past life connection with somebody that you're collaborating with or you're going to collaborate with. Devil energy, so Capricorn, woo, two of cups, Empress, four of pentacles, two of pentacles, queen of swords, lovers, Death, seriously, uh, magician. Wow. All right. That's a lot of big cards. So <laughs> I like that the sun and this is very straightforward. What's coming toward you or what's the, you know, so the overarching energy of the reading. And it does feel like there's collaboration coming. Wish is granted. Nine of cups. What's going on right now seems to be a little bit slow moving um, and a little bit held back by, uh, either what you think, no, what's, what's holding you back is Saturn. Okay. So we have Saturn in retrograde right now. And Saturn is all about putting in the time and effort. It's about taking the steps necessary. And, um, uh, yesterday on the Pathfinder live, we were talking about, Somebody had Cap had cancer and Capricorn um, placement, uh, I believe, with their North Node, South Node, and um, or fourth house, tenth house, and it was really about the thing she was doing to herself was pushing herself mercilessly. This is the father. This is the um, the hardcore rub some dirt on it father. Not the kind benevolent father, the one that's more cold and hard to deal with and very opinionated and demanding and whatever that is for you. Um, it does feel like this is a past issue, but it's something that you believe is going to be 
part of any relationship you have. It could be a pattern that you keep repeating, that you keep having the same kind of relationship uh, with somebody who's hard or cold or demanding or um, addicted or something that is really difficult about the relationship. You keep having that relationship, two of cups and the empress, and wanting a different result, okay? And we know what that's the definition of, so stop doing that. <laughs> And so I feel like that's something that has like come to light, right? Because these are the things that are going on in your consciousness. This is what's going on. Uh, <clears throat> sorry, the overarching energy of the reading and what could be coming toward the situation is a better balance here. I prefer the King of Pentacles over the devil energy any day. And what I'm seeing here is that there's a big shift in the kind of relationship you're choosing, a big shift in what does love mean for you? Because I think this has always meant love, this, this addiction, this Saturn, a hard lesson to learn. You know, you might have Saturn in your fifth house. That might be something that relates to children. It relates to sex. It relates to dating. Everything's hard or there's trouble or there's struggle or something like that. Hi, Maisie. <laughs> She's smelling my hair. <laughs> And you're expecting this, Two of Cups and Empress. And while initially there may be something really satisfying about it, we've got a lot of death energy here. Okay, this is the Day of the Dead. And then the death energy here is about uh, transformation. So you're using your wisdom with previous relationships now. You're finally seeing the pattern. Finally, finally. Fi I don't know. Wait a second. Not just seeing it but like repelled by it. It's not something that's that's calling to you anymore. It's not something that you're like, oh, that seems like love to me. Now you're like, ew, that's not love. Hurrah, hurrah, okay? And so for a little while there, there's this four of pentacles and two of pentacles. Like, I don't know. I don't really trust myself. I'm not really sure. I don't really know if I want to get involved. So you may be dealing with someone right now who on their face looks like good, but you are intuiting some red flags. All right. You're feeling it and you're paying attention to it. Progress. All right. Progress. Queen of Swords. So your reaction is. Hold up not doing this, not today, not today, universe, not doing this. So the choice you're making is the demise of that pattern. Progress, like I said, no more, no more of that pattern, not doing that. Now manifesting something much better. The Empress energy here and the Queen of Swords. If we're talking about something that is going on, I do feel like this is a love, a love, um, relationship on its face, right? Like in the 3D world, this is like, yeah, you know, like dating or something like that. But in a bigger sense, this is much more about seeing, using your intuition, getting the information. Did you just cough? Getting the information and trusting it. That's momentous. That is worthy of celebration. And I don't know about you, but I feel like this whole idea. So she is the queen of swords is like, hold up, not doing it, not really going there. And the magician down here makes me feel like this person um, or this situation, whatever it is, is giving you pause. Your wisdom, your 111 year old self, your spidey senses are being set off. And you're finally, finally listening to it. So let me clarify uh, the situation. I'm going to clarify the devil. Ten of Pentacles. Three of Swords. Five of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. Oof. All right. So this is something that comes from family, all right? Uh, comes from family patterns. And it always turns out the opposite. All right. Of what you think it's going to be, it turns out the opposite. And then you need help like to get back on track or there's the, it just like clobbers you and there's no uh, way back. 
I feel like now with Saturn in retrograde, it's almost like it's opening. It's like revealing itself to you. Saturn going direct may not have any impact on you, but Saturn going retrograde, there's a different energy to it, or it's an internal shift that's being made. The work has been done internally. When things are in retrograde, it's an internal shift. So things have shifted enough so that you see that pattern. And I almost feel like you might be helping other people deal with something along the same lines. So if you are a star seed uh, activating your gifts right now, because there's no time like the present, um, you might be activated because of a situation you're witnessing. There might be a friend, there might be a family member, there might be somebody in your office who's going through some kind of really toxic thing. And like you have the answers you know exactly what they're dealing with, right? You might not be experiencing this, but you did at one point, and now this information is helpful for another person. And so you're like, hold up, sweetheart, pull up a chair. So you could be talking about narcissistic abuse. You could be talking about addiction or how to deal with that, how to um, navigate a situation where you have a family member or a loved one or something like, whatever it is, you're Johnny on the spot. OK, there's there's something really nice here about seeing the situation, even though you are choosing maybe not to um, right now. Step into those gifts, this little interaction here gives you a lot of self-confidence, I feel. OK, and you're changing the way you choose and you're now also being able to see it in other people. It's kind of easier to see it in other people, right? You can see it in somebody else and you're like, ah, I wouldn't go down that road. But it's harder in yourself. This shows me you see it in yourself and you see it in other people. So there's a real healing here uh, on display. I like that. Um, Gemini, Scorpio, more Gemini, Taurus, Libra, Leo. OK, so I'm gonna, I'll look at those in the extended, but let me clarify first. Um, let me clarify this magician. Six of Cups, King of Cups, Hierophant, and the Nine of Wands. I feel like this person always has a good story to tell. I feel like they always um, try to get you into commitment too fast. I mean, that was one of the things you're probably witnessing with this other person. I'm not sure if they see it yet, but you do. If this is going on for you, um, I feel like some kind of energy has been activated in you that is, nope, not today, not today. And so this is bringing out some really good things, really lovely healing. It's validation, validation. OK, I really like that. Taurus showing up again. So I'm going to continue on with this. I will look at Leo, Capricorn, Taurus, Libra, Scorpio, Gemini. There's Taurus again. OK, I'll look at I'll take a look at those. Link is below. If you're part of Pathfinders, rest of this reading starts. Right. All right. I hope you enjoyed that video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody who might have a need for similar kind of information. And if you like this video, check out these videos.